Oh man, it's been forever since I started talking in front of the microphone. This would be fun. Hello everyone, Gladys here and welcome back to another video. Today I decided to bring back the um, Team Fortress 2 builds in PD2. So I I believe the last one I did was Demoman. So next is the Heavy. And as usual, um, these builds are meant for fun, not much like not much function I guess you can say to them. They're just meant meant for fun and don't expect be playing this build on like Death Wish or One Down or Death Sentence or whatever you have. If you have the crackdown mod, don't expect to do it on that. <laughs> it's mainly like mayhem and below. You could maybe use it on Death Wish on most maps, but not all of them. Such as like Aftershock when there's no cover whatsoever. Good luck on that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So let's get started, shall we? And before I start um, showing you all the skills and all that other stuff, I would like to say thank you guys so much for the um, support lately. It's been, <laughs> it's been ridiculous, honestly. As I'm recording this video, I am on 54, I think 54,300, I think, maybe 400, I can't remember. It's, <laughs> it's been really ridiculous, honestly, I can't, I can't think you guys some enough for the support lately and whatever else. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So in Mastermind, because it's a heavy, it's mainly in Enforcer stuff, but in Mastermind there's just one spare skill and stable shot. Because you'd be using a minigun, you need that, honestly. Well, not really, but like I said, it's a spare point. So like I said, most of the points are in uh, Enforcer. So we're going to be using a minigun and a shotgun. The shotgun is going to be the default shotgun that you get in the game. It's going to be resembling that, basically. So. Um, just get the basic shotgun skills, which is just this, and there is an option to actually get Overkill Aced to get the 80%, nope, 75%, sorry about that, 75% extra damage on your minigun. That's an option to do that, but that's what I'm going to be doing for this build. Just Underdog Aced, Shotgun CQB Aced, Shotgun Impact Aced, and then Overkill Aced. And then over in Tank, Resistance Ace because flashbangs are so freaking stupid in this game. <laughs> Shotgun or Aced, Bullseye Aced because um, with a minigun it's actually not that hard to get headshots. I know it sounds weird but the mechanics in this game is strange so it's not that difficult to actually get headshots. I'll be honest. <laughs> so just get that and of course Iron Man Ace because you are heavy, you need a lot of armor to um, get to the battlefield. So we're going to be getting uh, Scavenger Basic, Bulletstorm Aced, Extra Land Aced, and then a Fully Loaded Basic. So if you don't want Overkill Aced, you could get um, Fully Loaded Aced instead. If you really want to get the um, Extra Throwables, Extra Throwables. Okay, so as I'm editing this video, I realized I said this. Um, because this build has Kingpin as its perk deck, you don't have throwables, so yeah, <laughs> I'm stupid. Anyway, back to the video. And extra pickup rate and all that stuff. But I prefer extra damage because the um, pickup rate of the minigun is actually pretty good. So, there's no need for that. Over in Technician, we're going to be getting Stable Shot. Not Stable Shot, Steady Grip. Over in Technician, we're going to be getting Stable Grip. Stable Grip. Steady Grip. Why my, why know my brain works? Over in Technician, we're going to be getting a Steady Grip. Aced. And then Surefire Aced. To get the um, armor penetration. Body armor penetration, whatever it's probably called. And extra bullets because that makes sense. <laughs> uh, lock and load ace because it's better to do that. And you need to get uh, body expertise unlocked as well. So that's that. It's actually quite funny. The body expertise does actually work for the minigun. Specials, special weapons, which is the minigun in auto fire mode. So 
it works with the minigun. So having that 90% extra damage on top of the 75% damage from Overkill Aced, the minigun can kill enemies really quickly. I mainly got the Overkill Ace because um, body expertise doesn't actually work with bulldozers. So if you just get a quick shotgun kill, you can kill a bulldozer really quickly if you do this. Now over in Ghost is a bit funny, honestly, because you're the heavy and the heavy is usually pretty slow in the game. So we're going to be getting duck and cover and that's it. We're not going to get parkour because you sp you're meant to be be slow as a heavy. And we also going to get second wind basic as well, so that might trigger most of you. It triggers me too, trust me, because I always get parkour in every single build. But like I said, you're a heavy. You're meant to be a bit slower. So yeah, that that's really painful to do that, but yeah, it's part of the build. <laughs> you could get rid of some, some other stuff to get it, but yeah. Now over in Fugitive, because the minigun takes like a million years to uh, reload, um, <laughs> we're going to be getting Martial Arts Basic and then Bloodthirsty, Bloodthirst, Bloodthirsty, whatever, Ace, because you get that 50% extra reload speed if you get a melee kill. <laughs> that helps so much with the um, reload of the minigun. If you want to have proof, here's some, here's some footage of the timing and all that stuff with and without the skill. So yeah, um, it says right here the Vulcan minigun, which we'll be using as our primary weapon, has almost 8 seconds reload time. <laughs> um, and yeah, Vulcan minigun is our primary weapon. You could use the um, XL um, microgun if you don't have the overkill DLC or the, or should I say, the um, ultimate edition. But you can probably get the microgun if you want to, but part of the build is the minigun, so I'm using this. And I got a mod which gives this thing a chrome skin, so <laughs> it replaces that that skin that you get for every if you complete like a thousand achievements or whatever, you get this uh, really cool skin for every single gun in the game. I got a mod for that to change it to a chrome thing. Anyway, for this, I just got this assault barrel, a ammo boost, and that's it. I'm not gonna bother getting this because you get 600 bullets like <laughs> there's no point don't bother you could put a gadget if you want to get more extra stability or whatever but it's not part of the game so I just started, decided not to put that and for the secondary we're gonna be using the GSPS 12 gauge shotgun which I believe is from the goat simulator you say see right there so you need to get the ultimate edition again <laughs> for this I just got rid of the stock and I had the same skin as the other one. It looks really similar to the default shotgun in the game, so that's why I'm using it. So all I have is triple zero buck, the short barrel, shortened barrel. I don't have a barrel thing right here. Don't have a boost for some weird reason, I just now realized. Extra accuracy? Nah, I should put stability on that. Don't have a gadget and I just got a short stock. That's what she said. For our melee weapon, because the heavy has fists, but I decided to go for the brass knuckles because of the um, eviction notice. I think it's called the brass knuckles you can get in Team Fortress 2. So I'm going to get that instead. Ammo bags, obviously. Um, Iron Man armor. Now, the what do you call it? Perk deck is the most interesting part, honestly. I was using a Anarchist, I was using Armourer, I was using Muscle, but none of them worked. I was even using like Social Path, like, or whatever it is. I was using um, Maniac, nothing worked, but Kingpin works really well. So I stuck with Kingpin, even though it doesn't make any sense when it comes to the game, but it's two different games for God's sake, like. <laughs> How can you? And I want this build to be f as functional as possible. So 
Kingpin works really well, so I'm using that. I used the other ones, didn't really work as half as good, honestly. So yeah, that's the that's all the skills, build, and weapons, and all that stuff. So yeah, hope you guys like this video, and I'll show you some footage of this build in action. And yeah, I hope you guys like that, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know what the next video will be because I do this stuff as I go. It's like what I'm talking about right now, I'm just talking out of my brain. I have no scripts, as you can probably tell. And yeah, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Just...